nice and smooth throttle, I like that. All right, today is the big test day. It's uh, snow is melting. Uh, we've had above zero temperatures for about a week now. We're just, it's April 2nd today. So looking like we're gonna get a better better spring than we have in the last two or three years now. Those years, every year was, uh, it snowed right till the end of April and I'm sure we're still gonna get another dump but uh, it's never melted like this for quite a while now. So we got the bike together. Uh, we're gonna test out the KLX needle kit today. Make sure that this thing actually runs. So it idles, it started it in idles. I haven't started it this morning yet, but it uh, started in idled, so that part's okay, but we gotta see at highway speed if it's gonna be good yet. See if I did everything right. So we're gonna give her a shot. I got some charging stuff hooked up in here now that uh, I wanna see if see if it's gonna work. See if she starts. Probably should charge the battery up. It's been sitting for a while. Come on, baby. Now yeah, she was charging pretty low, but she started. It's charging on here or not can't tell <laughs> so I'll assume that it is we'll check it out later not a bad day today I think it uh, I think it's about almost 10 Celsius out here which is around 50 Fahrenheit Suns come out it was cloudy this morning it's about the warmest day so far I still have a little bit of snow on the driveway down there that I have to negotiate through, but if I can get through that, we can get to the road. I hope everybody is uh, taking it easy and uh, isolating themselves. I'm going to. I've been, I've been inside. I think I've been out maybe six, seven times in three and a half months. So this uh, Corona stuff. It's not too hard to get used to for me. Stuck here anyway, so. Hope everybody else is uh, enjoying their holidays, at least the ones that aren't working. That are deemed essential anyways. If you watched my other videos, you'll notice the tire change. I did the sprockets, the chain, the uh, KLX needle, put a new air filter in it. So we should be good for the road now. Been a while since I've been on this thing. This is a water bottle. It's like 40 years old. I got it in the 80, early 80s for one of my other dirt bikes. It's uh, survived and it's still in one piece. Probably emits all kinds of uh, chemicals into my water, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go for a little uh, Little ride, check out the KLX needle kit and the carb and make sure that works and scrub down the tires a little bit. Make sure everything's working good. <laughs> That's probably gonna be an issue. It's pretty loose, unfortunately. 
stuff something in there maybe. Yeah, a little bit of snow here. And we get through it. And I like how they grade the road and scrape down five inches in front of my driveway. Bunch of idiots. It's a little chilly. Alright, so far so good. Nice smooth acceleration. No hesitation. I have to do something with that thing, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a little loose. Yeah, there's no no lag in the throttle like there used to be. Ah, aside from the cold, it feels nice to get out. why that's so loose but uh, I think if I put something in behind it it'll stay there I hope you can hear me all right this is gonna be a good test to see how I am on the, any kind of trip oh yeah big difference Switching up to fifth before it was always a chore. It was like it was just uh, lagging in power. That feels much better. I wonder how much difference that'll make on uh, gas mileage, gas consumption. Hopefully not too much because I know what this thing will run. whatever you want to call it. I live in the country so I'm not too bad. I'm not uh, going by any gas stations today. I'm not stopping anywhere. I'm not seeing any people. Staying to myself. Just had to get out of the house. Hope everybody else is doing well. Nobody's sick. done with and over with before summer hits. It'll be a real drag if we're stuck not doing anything for summer. I gotta get out and adventure. That's that's what I do. That's my life is adventuring. Yeah I'm not even gonna go into city limits here. <laughs> a newer spot. You can see it there. I haven't even turned it on. I forgot. 
<laughs> I'll pull over up here and turn it on. It's a Gen 3. It's not the uh, the one that you can uh, text and communicate and all that with. It's just uh, better than the Gen 1 I had. The Gen 1 I had wasn't working very well. But uh, I tried it and it was working good. You can send out uh, pre-prescribed messages on it. I'll work these tires in a little bit. Scuff them up. I'll pull over here and see if I can turn this thing on where it's mounted. Turn the power on. It runs through all the lights. And then the track. Green light comes on for tracking. It should hook up with uh, satellites and uh, track my uh, my progress now. is a bit of a pig stock but uh, she's uh, come to life now eventually I've got, I've got uh, 42,000 kilometers on here eventually when I get up around 80 or so maybe I'll look at uh, a uh, 685 kit or 705 or something like that out my uh, video on the uh, KLX needle install that was posted in the tire video changing the tires out I had uh, dumb lot dumb <laughs> dumb lop. I had Dunlop 606s on before I didn't like the front Dunlop it was uh, it's too hard of a compound for the front and your front seems really skittish it'll slide a bit before I had uh, my other bike, I had the 606 on the back and I had a Kenda 2 Trackmaster on the front. The Trackmaster is much softer compound, the grip's better, heats up nicely. I like that combination. That's a pretty aggressive knobby. That's the most aggressive knobby you can get up here on a street bike is the 606. in now before uh, the ministry decides to put a uh, fire ban on it. I heard that's coming. Once the uh, forest dries out of it and the snow is gone, they don't want to be calling in people during this virus thing to get together to fight fires, so it's coming. I think we still got uh, at least two months of having to deal with this. Maybe more, I don't know. The Lappy store. Is it open? So Canada's not as bad as uh, the rest of the world. We're only up around 8,000 cases. Since the uh, start of March, I guess, they didn't start counting. I'm sure there's more to come, but I think uh, we're up around, I'm guessing, 65 deaths. Well, we're nowhere near what the States is. The States is really bad. I think we've got uh, five cases in this region. Three, three of them here in town, I think, or two here in town. 
Well, that's not too bad. As long as we keep it down like that, we're good. But they're still bringing people in. Those cruise ships that were infected there, they're landing them today and sending all the people home. And uh, hopefully the people self-isolate. So anyways, enough on that. That's a uh, part of our life right now, so we got to deal with it. Just like I have to deal with this loose GPS. Man, I can't believe how nice this is running. I don't want to knock on wood. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, but... New tires, and new chain, new sprockets, new brake pads, KLX needle, new air filter. Old gas. <laughs> yeah. Once I work, once I run down some, we'll be getting more, but that won't be for a while. I just want to get out just today to make sure that the the carburetor is set up good. Just going up here, the lake starts right there. Move up to the other end. It looks like uh, the ice is still solid. Not much has changed. It's only been a week, like I said. I like it out here. Not too many people around. Yeah, I got some slush on the lake. It's looking pretty slushy, but it's still solid. They have a uh, track out there for vehicles or bikes. A little race track. Somebody always plows out. Ah, oh, what a great day. This is awesome. This is what I needed. Can't sit at home and stare at the walls and sulk all day long, every day. If I had some studs on here, I could probably go for a ride out on the lake. <laughs> Nice and smooth throttle, like that. You got no lagging, no hesitation. When it goes on, it's on. Before, when you did that, there used to be a hesitation. Sun. I'm solar powered, as I've probably told everybody before. If you watched my tire changing video, you'll notice I put the K60s on. Uh, I really like them for long highway and uh, flat gravel roads. I hope to do some trips this year, sometime maybe. I hope. Let's see what happens. Well, that's the plan. All this changed out, ready to go. We got a water bottle mount there. Water bottle here. I'll have my saddlebags on, fully loaded. I'll be camping, tenting. Hopefully, we get a good summer. There's two things you gotta really watch out for. Riding this early is uh, gravel on the road. That'll put you down real quick. 
and also people don't realize that uh, the bikes are coming out. I've heard a couple of bikes going by. So the bikes are out. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the video. My throat's getting really dry here. I haven't got any water to drink, but... Everything's working, so we'll see you on the next one. Take care.